Good evening and welcome to Midweek Scott Sport. Ten years ago, Ali McLeod took Scotland to an ill-fated World Cup in Argentina. His captain was Bruce Reich. Now both men have their biggest night since. McLeod's in charge of Air United, who played on firmly in the Scottish Cup replay, the possible prize of meeting with Rangers. And Rear, now the boss of Middlesbrough, take on Everton in an FA Cup replay, the certain reward for the winners, a home tie against Liverpool. That's what's called incentive. What it ensures is that two smashing cup ties will keep you watching for the next hour or so, and as a bonus with the final stages of the Taunton side of British Masters darts final. But first, the Cup and League results here in Scotland tonight. In the Scottish Cup third round, 4 for 1, Partick Thistle 1. In the other third round replays, Brecon City 0, Dundee 3, Cowden Beath 0, Clyde 1, Kilmarnock 1, Motherwell 3. And in the Premier Division, Hearts 1, Dundee United 1. <clears throat> well, whatever you may think about Ali McLeod, life is never dull when he's around. On Saturday, he took Air United to East End Park in the Cup, said he feared no one, and came back with this magnificent result. No beating. Mark Smith. Going up against Jim Hughes once again. Getting it, going inside. There's a chance! given an even greater opportunity of going back into the play. Here's John Slotton with a chance. Touched him by Walker. Well, that's set up tonight's replay. Somerset Park had never seen a light like it since McLeod was there the first time round over 12 years ago. The Pied Piper had worked his magic again. There wasn't many spare places in the ground for the replay, and it's from Somerset Park that Jock Brown reports. Tonight's match with exactly the same 11 players who finished the match on Saturday at the Fernland. That means they're missing Stevie McIntyre, the right back who hasn't recovered from injury, and he's been replaced in the side by Kenny Wilson with Ross Scott dropping back. And there's the little player who set the match a light on Saturday, Henry Templeton, the number seven, signed from Airdrie last season. And just one change in the Dunfermline lineup, enforced by the ordering off of John Holt. Graham Robertson comes in to play in his place, and otherwise Dunfermline start the match the same as Saturday. And the man who kept them in the cup on Saturday, without doubt, their goalkeeper Ian Westwater, enjoying a marvellous spell of form. So the match starts with tremendous enthusiasm around the stadium. It's like old times here at Somerset Park. United coming out, a tumultuous welcome after their efforts of Saturday, playing in their customary white tops and black shorts, with Dunfermline changing to the red strips with the white shorts. So barely any room inside the stadium at this stage of the match. There's Graham Robertson back in the side in place of John Holt. And in fact, as the match starts, there are still queues outside the stadium trying to get in. The first corner kick of the match goes to Dunfermline. And there's the queues outside the stadium. People still trying to get in to see tonight's match. So the first corner kick of the match taken by Mark Smith for Dunfermline. It's gone all the way through, and the first time shot by Bobby Smith doesn't come off. So a foul there immediately, that challenge. By Tommy Walker, penalised by referee Sandy Roy from Aberdeen. So a free kick outside the box for Dunfermline, perhaps a shade too far out for a direct shot at goal, but Bobby Smith is there with Stuart Beattie. And Beattie in particular has a lot of power in that right boot. Played in though by Smith. And that picked up by Robertson. And no problems there for George Watson in the air goal. Misjudged by Kirkwood. McCarthy is there with the header back, and Westwater gets it the first time. He's now in trouble with Templeton. Templeton turning to line up a shot, but he's brought down at the edge of the box by Smith. Bobby Smith protesting that Templeton died, but he certainly appeared to be caught by the defender number three. This would be a disaster for the defender. McCarthy's header almost cut off by Sludden. Westwater doing well then. Templeton set up a shooting chance. Across the bows of Smith and brought down to the very other free kick. So 
This is an excellent opportunity for a United. There's Sludden. Well, deadly goal scorer in the second division, John Sludden. He's scored 22 times already this season. Sludden was always the man to strike the ball, but much too high. Dummy by BD. This is Jack. Running out of space on the left. And George Watson's been getting a lot of distance into these kickouts for air. Harry Smith judging it well to put up to safety. Templeton, tackled firmly by Bobby Smith, here's Mark Smith, brought down by Hughes, so the free kick to Dunferman, that challenge brought Jim Wishman and the Dunferman manager out from his dugout, Robertson. It's back with Mark Smith. Lockwood cross. And the throw is given to the Fern and Jim Hughes doing well to prevent the corner kick. Back it comes to Graham Robertson. And the run by Wilson. Here's Templeton. And caught late by his shadow, Bobby Smith. And referee Sandy Roy, I think, will take action against the Dunferman defender. So Dunferman putting their most experienced player on Henry Templeton, and that's a mark of great respect, but Smith was clearly late with that challenge. And referee Sandy Roy left with no option but to take action against Smith. And of course, this will curtail Bobby Smith's further attempts to control Templeton. The booking early in the match. 